This week's video is going to be redoing and refining the survival bow that we made in a previous video. So if you've seen our previous video where we made a survival bow, this is that same bow. And basically it's a lot more dried out now. And if you haven't seen that video, go back and check it out. You might enjoy it. The point of making the survival bow in the first place was simply uh, if you were out somewhere and lost way out in the middle of nowhere, whatever, uh, whatever the situation is, you're in a situation where you need a quick bow. That was a quick bow that you could make in under an hour. Uh, probably actually took half hour, 45 minutes, something like that. Not very long at all. So that was the point of that. A usable bow that you could get in less than an hour. Now that this stave or bow <laughs> has been laying around, uh, kept it out of the sun of course, and uh, it's been drying for quite some time, it's very hard now. You just about can't draw it back anymore. It was a sapling. This side was about one inch and the other side is about an inch and a quarter. At the time that we cut it, it was hard to pull back. Uh, it was still doable. You can still do what you need, I think. But now that it's dried out, it's very hard to pull back. So really in this video, I'm going to try to work it down and try and make it into a more usable bow now that it's dried out. Bark still on, so I'm going to go ahead and peel the bark off. Just want to give a quick reminder that we put up new videos every Friday morning. So if you like these videos, go ahead and hit subscribe and hit that notification bell if you'd like to receive notifications when we upload the next one. So while this sticks that around drying, it actually has twisted a little bit as well. So I'm not a professional uh, bow maker. Not by any means. <laughs> I do like to carve wood and I've been doing that for years. And I make hiking sticks and various other things and I, I, yeah, it's fun. I like to make stuff. And so I'm just using the knowledge that I have on carving other things and trying to apply it to this. And making a survival bow from materials that you would have with you or find in the forest I would think would be a good thing to have, a good thing to know. So basically, I'm just taking what I know about making a survival bow and what I know about carving and trying to put that together. I'm not trying to make a great bow here that will um, 
lasts me years and years and years. I'm just trying to take this very basic survival bow that we made previously and try and make it better than what it was. Trying to improve upon it. So I've taken the bark off of the back side all the way up and down and now I'm just trying to flatten it on this back side a bit. Uh, that way it's, it's more flat, more like what we're used to seeing when we see a bow. The front side, the side that faces away from you still has the bark on. I'm working on the back side first and we might just leave this bark on the front. I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. But I also have a twist in here and I need to try and work that twist out. So that's another reason why I'm flattening the back to get that twist out of there. Okay, I've worked the ends of the bow down pretty good. This was a one inch sapling on the one end, at least was one inch, and it's still pretty much pretty close to that in its thickness this way. I flattened it here a bit, but it's pretty much the same thickness. But the other end ended up about an inch and a quarter, maybe even a hair more. And I've brought that down this way. So it's more like what the other end is now. But now I need to work on bringing this in try to make this end match more with the other one. Well, it's definitely an improvement. I mean, from what it was when we first made it, it's, I would say it's an improvement over that even. Uh, just modifying this a little bit probably took less than half an hour, I would say. So this is not a wet sapling anymore. It's not totally dry, but it's definitely drier than it was when we first cut it out of the forest. So uh, this is definitely an improvement of what it's been since it's dried some. And I would say it's an improvement from whenever we first uh, made it to begin with. <clears throat> but I'm gonna get a target and a couple arrows and let's see how it shoots. All right, we're gonna try the bow out. Now we're gonna try out the survival arrows that we made. Did you see that video that we made those in? If not, you might wanna check that out too. And then we're gonna try some other arrows that uh, the older children have for target practice. These just have field tips and these are just a sharpened end.
Yeah, I would say that's a definite improvement over what it was since it's been drying out. I think it shoots better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as you can see the ends, uh, this would be the smaller end and the bigger end is now pretty close to matching. I mean, they're basically the same. It's not the bigger end anymore. Like I say, this isn't something that we're gonna intend to keep for a really long time. We might actually keep it, let it dry out and see how it does uh, in a few more months, see how it shoots. We could have done this from the beginning. It would have just taken longer to make it. In the first video, we were just trying to make a quick survival bow. In this video, we're just trying to improve upon that same bow design. So when we originally made this, it probably took us about 45 minutes, I'm gonna say. It was under an hour. And this time, these improvements probably took another half an hour. So it's still not very long, a little over an hour, hour and 15 minutes, something like that. Got some new shirts in our Teespring store. Plus, we sell hoodies and mugs as well. Check out the links in the description below. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and hit that like button if you haven't done so already. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We put out new videos every week, every Friday morning. And if you'd like to receive notifications when we do upload the next video, hit that notification bell. And check out our channel. We have several videos just like this one or very similar. We do various things including hiking, biking, boating, fishing, builds of various kinds, mostly outdoor activities. Some homesteading is thrown in there as well. This channel is for the experience. We do these things for the experience of doing them and to show others how you can do it too. We try to be fun and entertaining while being educational all at the same time. Sometimes these experiences are done for the first time and other times they're things that we do all the time. Sometimes we do things just for the fun of doing it. Thank you. We'll see you on the next one.